Hi, thanks for joining me. I want to show you, this is my first successful use of this particular patio garden. So a patio garden is really a container garden and I have a hard time growing things in a container. So you see how small these are, but they're just right. Each one, they're not very big, but I can use one per sandwich. And here's a bell pepper, one per salad or sandwich. All right, so let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's the system here. It's called Patio Garden, right here, Patio Garden. And it says P-U-G, Pug Company, I guess, that's it. But it has this big thing on top. It's square. And where you see the bell pepper plants, I put them in the corners. In between each one of them is a hole that you put a tomato plant in, and it'll go underneath there. So I have four up top and four on the bottom. I'm pretty sure you can put a cucumber in there or some other plant it's up to you so that's what I did for that underneath here I have some other plants so if you put four more plants down there as you water this the water will drain off of here and into those down there so I say it's successful see the size of these they didn't get very tall the one here in this pot this container pot because the pot is larger and it's catering just to the roots of the one plant. Whereas these, they're all kind of matted and tangled up in here. But see, there's another little one there. But it's okay, you treat them just like regular plants. These are kind of long and leggy. I may cut some of these off, but they started growing in clusters. And they're just doing their own thing. But it is successful because I was able to get vegetables off of it this year. To see underneath it's still kind of green it's not hitting much sun under there under there but tomato plants love to be cut back just don't cut the top if you cut the top they'll stop growing out and grow bushy so it's up to you i could probably cut the top tips of these off and let them just expand and get bushy so there you have it a container garden can be quite successful it just depends on how you measure success see i have some tomato buds growing here and I have some more tomatoes here. Those look like they dropped off and that's because probably I didn't, I went through a spurt where I didn't water them. So I just added a little bit more fertilizer to them. I'll keep my eye on them. And then I'll come in. I usually don't pull these out until they're about this size so I can actually manage them. But you don't want them to get too big because they suck the life out of the nutrients out of your garden. All right, thanks for joining me. Hit the like and the subscribe button to show a little channel love.